Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Ruble Solutions. In this video, I am going to tell you the comparison that is the difference between terrestrial and underwater wireless sensor networks. In the previous two videos, I have tell you what are wireless sensor networks and what are the architecture of underwater wireless sensor networks. So this is the third video about UWSN. This video will tell you the difference between terrestrial TWSN and underwater wireless sensor networks UWSN. In TWSN, most applications require dense deployment. In UWSN, sparse deployment is preferred not only due to expensive equipment but also in order to cover large monitor area. In TWSN, most of the network architecture assume that net sensor nodes are stationary so different topologies can be applied. In UWSN, nodes continue to move 1 to 3 meter per second with water currents so the network can be viewed as a fixed topology. Number 3. In TWSN, a network with static nodes considered more stable especially in terms of communication links. In UWSN, routing messages from or to moving nodes it more, is more challenging, not only in terms of route optimization, but also link stability becomes an important issue. Number 4. In TWSN, generally consider more reliable due to a more matured understanding of wire, wireless link conditions involved under R&D. In T UWSN, Reliability is a major concern due to inhospitable conditions. Communication links face high bit rates and temporary losses. Fault tolerant approaches are preferred. Number 5. In TWSN, nodes are considered moving in 2D space even when they are deployed as ad hoc and as mobile sensor networks. In UWSN, Nodes can move in a 3D volume without following any mobility pattern. Number 6. In TWSN, usually the destination is fixed and seldom changes its location. In the event when destination is changes its location, still these movements are pre predefined. In UWSN, sinks or destination are placed on water surface and can move with water currents. Due to random water movement, predefined paths are difficult to or cannot be followed. Number 7. Deploy in DWSN, deployment affects the performance of network. Generally deployed is deterministic as nodes are placed manually, so data is routed through predefined paths. In UWSN, non-uniform random deployment is common. More self confirmed configuring and self-organizing routing protocols are required to handle non-uniform deployment. Number 8. In TWSN, in most cases, nodes are assumed to be homogeneous throughout the network. The networks of this type provides better efficiency in the most of circumstances. In UWSN, heterogeneous network is common, inclusion of heterogeneous set of sensor nodes raises multiple technical issues related to data routing. 9. Radio waves are available. Nodes can communicate with low propagation delay at the speed of flight. Acoustic waves re replace radio waves. In UWSN, acoustic waves replace radio waves at the speed of 1.5 and 103 meter per second. Communication speed is decreased from speed of light to speed of sound, results in the high propagation delays. Five orders of magnitude, it can be problematic for real-time application. Number 10. High data rate normally in order of megahertz. In UWSN, low data rate normally in order of kilohertz hardly can exceed 40 kb per second at 1 km distance. Moreover, the attenuation of acoustic signal increases with the frequency and range. Number 11. Increased number of hops during the routing process. In UWSN, 
Number of hops depend on the depth of monitoring area. Number 12. Low energy consumption. In UWSN, high energy consumption due to longer distance and complex single processing. The power required to transmit may decay with powers greater than 2 of the distance. Number 13. Large batteries can be used and can be replaced or recharged in ease. In UWSN, battery power is limited and usually cannot be easily replaced or recharged. The routing protocol should adopt a mechanism of power down during the communication and use minimum retransmission. Number 14. Nodes are less error prone and can continue to work for longer time. In UWSN, nodes are more error prone and can die or leave the working area. More reliable and self-recovering routing algorithms are required. Number 15. Cooperative lo localization scheme like time of arrival and time of a uh, time difference of arrival are used for GPS free localization. Number UWSN techniques like TD TOA are not feasible due to unavailability of accurate synchronization in underwater. Number 16. Schemes like receiver signal strength index can be used for cooperative localization. In UWSN, RSSI is highly vulnerable to acoustic interfaces such as multipath, Doppler frequency, speed, and near show tight noise and cannot provide accuracy for more than few meters. Number 17. In TWSN, automatic repeat request technique are used for error recovery and packet loss detections ARQ. In UWSN, ARQ techniques are insufficient due to large propagation delays as retransmission incur excessive latency as well as signaling overheads. 18. In TWSN, forward error correction FEC technique are used to increase the robustness against error. In UWSN, FEC is not easily affordable due to redundant bits of extremely small bandwidth of acoustic communication. 19. In TWSN, GPS waves use 1.5 GHz band. For terrestrial sensor networks, these frequencies are supported and GPS facility can be used for localization purpose. In UWSN, geographical routing is not supported. As such, high frequencies brands are impractical for UWSN. Ultimately, have to relay on distributed GPS free localization or time synchronization schemes known as cooperative localization. These 19 points are the general difference between terrestrial WSNs and, UW and underwater UWSNs. And this article is reference from Journal of Network and Computer Applications. And I hope this this article will give us a give us little knowledge and compile the difference between the two. I hope this is beneficial and thank you so much for listening me and thank you so much for appreciating me. And thank you for all the subscribers, all the likers, all the comments and everyone. God is there for everyone. God is one and God is there for all of us. So please take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Love, love.